This is the Blyden HDMI to AV converter for Roku streaming stick. This is not the correct package for the Roku media player. This one's specifically for the Roku streaming stick. The Blyden package contains these items. The video converter itself, the USB power, a composite cable, and a USB power cable. There are also printed instructions which contain much of the same material. All right, let's set this up. First, we'll take the USB power adapter and we'll plug in the only end of the USB cable that'll fit into the power adapter. It only goes one way. The other end of that cable goes into the Blyden adapter. Again, it only goes in one way. And next to where that cable plugs in, there's a small switch labeled NTSC and PAL. Make sure that switch is in the NTSC position. That's the only way this adapter will work with your Roku streaming stick. Begin setup of the Roku streaming stick. To set that up, what you do is, again, you plug the USB into the power adapter that came with the Roku. Again, only goes one way. The other end of that cable plugs into the side of the Roku stick. Then the HDMI port on the Roku stick plugs into the Blyden adapter. Again, only works one way. The next cable to connect is the red, white, yellow video cable. First, connect the colors to the appropriate outputs on the Blyden adapter. The other end of your composite video cable goes to the port on your TV with red, yellow, and white inputs. Be sure to find an input port as some TVs have red, yellow, and white output ports also. Near where these cables plug in, there's usually a label that says what this port will be called on your TV screen. In our case, the port is labeled video. We're ready to give power to the adapter and to the Roku stick. So first, plug in the power brick that came with your Blyden adapter. Then plug in the power brick that came with the Roku streaming stick. And then turn on your television. Our television is showing us that we're looking at the video port. So we'll be seeing the output from the adapter. And there it is. If you don't see the output from your Roku streaming stick on your TV screen at this point, then you might need to ch change your TV's source or input. On most TV remotes, there's a source or input button, and pressing that should toggle through the other options. Again, in our case, the option was labeled video. Other TVs might call it composite, RCA, line-in, or aux. At this point, your setup of the Blyden HDMI to AV converter is complete. The rest of the setup happens with your Roku streaming stick and your Roku's remote control. Here's how your final installation should look. If you have any feedback for us, please contact us at support at blyden.com. That's B-L-E-I-D-E-N.com. We'd appreciate your feedback, both by email and if you have something great to say about our product, please review it on Amazon. Thanks.